Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of copper. Have you ever wondered how this shiny reddish metal forms in nature? Copper is all around us, in our phones, wires, and even coins. But its journey starts deep underground. Let's explore how copper is made by nature and how it ends up in our hands. Copper is a natural element found in the Earth's crust. It's one of the first metals humans ever used because it's soft, easy to shape, and conducts electricity really well. Its chemical symbol is Cu, and it has a beautiful reddish color that makes it stand out. Did you know copper has been used for over 10,000 years? But before we can use it, copper has to go through an incredible natural process to form. Copper forms deep within the earth, usually near volcanic activity or in places where hot, mineral-rich water circulates underground. Here's how it happens. Volcanic processes. When magma from a volcano cools, it leaves behind minerals like copper in the surrounding rock. Over time, these copper deposits get concentrated in cracks and gaps in the earth's crust. Hydrothermal activity. Sometimes, hot water from deep underground dissolves minerals from rocks, carrying copper along with it. As this water cools, the copper settles and crystallizes in veins or layers. These natural processes take millions of years, but they create copper deposits we can mine today. There are two main types of copper deposits, porphyry deposits. These are the most common and are found near ancient volcanoes. They're huge and supply most of the world's copper. Sedimentary deposits. These form when copper-rich water flows through layers of sediment and leaves copper behind as it evaporates. Miners extract these deposits from the earth, and then the copper is processed to remove impurities, creating the pure metal we use every day. Copper is incredibly important because it's essential for modern life. It's used in electricity, plumbing, and even renewable energy technologies like wind turbines and solar panels. Without copper, many things we rely on wouldn't work. It's not just practical. Copper is also recyclable, making it an eco-friendly choice for a sustainable future. So. The next time you see a copper coin or wire, think about the millions of years it took for that metal to form. Nature is truly amazing. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed learning about copper, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more fascinating science content. See you next time.